Welcome back to another day of Food for the Soul. Today, I wasn't gonna do a video, but I decided to do one anyway, since I ain't doing nothing else. But today, I'm gonna do an old school, southern style catfish sandwich, using a whole catfish, besides the head and the guts. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I want everybody to say this right here. Mississippi catfish sandwich. Everybody say it. Mississippi catfish sandwich. Now, Will Smith, you said it wrong. Now, you said it wrong. Come on now, Will Smith. You're an actor. Say it right. Say Mississippi catfish sandwich. And this boy can't get it right. Come on now. Come on to Brian James. Say it. This boy can't get it right. Mississippi catfish sandwich. All right. I know somebody that can do it. I'm about to call Oprah up. Come on. Oprah, say it for me. Oh yeah, Oprah said it right. She said, Mississippi Catfish Sandwich. She didn't even say Catfish right, she said Catfish. Mississippi Catfish Sandwich. Oh yeah, oh, come on, yeah. Oprah can say it right. But don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell, leave me a comment, and we'll be on our way to some good old cookies. Only on Food for the Soul, baby. Booyah! Boy, 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 that right there looks so good. Got the nice tartar sauce, hot sauce, and Kroger ketchup. Mmm. All the delicious sides you need. But hey, I'm sorry. Y'all gotta go. Because I'm about to smash this Mississippi catfish sandwich. All right. See, the first thing we gonna do with this catfish right here is when you get it, See that inside right there? You're gonna have to clean all that off. See right here? By just doing that, all they're gonna come off, you don't need to eat all that. So, what we do is take each piece and it, you clean it thoroughly. You clean it good. Just like that. Yeah, come on now. Clean that fish. Yeah, you gotta make sure all this stuff off. Like uh, nothing is coming off by using your nails with it too. You want a good clean catfish. Good clean catfish. Alright. So I'm about to do the other three and come back and show you the other technique. All right, so I got my catfish all clean. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna uh, take off that piece right there and make sure you don't cut yourself taking that piece off. There we go is when you get in deep enough, it's gonna fly straight off. You like that, it's just gonna pop straight off. Bye! It's gonna pop straight off. Bye! Last one, it's gonna pop straight off. Watch it, watch it. Look at it, bye out, pop straight off. Now, for the whole catfish, take the knife, slit there, slit there. On this side right here, do it opposite. Slit there. Slit there. And you do each piece of fish the same way. Slit there. Slit there. Slit there. Slit there. And you slit the fish like that to make sure that it cooked all the way through. So since I'm doing an old school style, I'm not going to add all this seasoning because old school way is just the old school way that grandma did back in the day. Well, just old salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper. Oh, 
old school Mississippi catfish style. And pepper on this side too. Next thing I do is I'm gonna get me a cast iron skillet because I'm doing the old color purple type style. The old, uh, uh, all the old kind of movie style of catfish. I'm talking the real old cast iron skillet. And no, I couldn't find no uh, grease, the hard uh, kind of grease you use. So I got the regular vegetable oil. I'm just gonna pour it like that. Don't pour all the way, all the way up because grease will rise. So if you put too much grease in it with the fish, it's gonna overflow. So that should be all right, be about right, right there. So okay, now for my meal, now what I got is some some uh, some fish meal, and I got the fish meal from a church. And everybody knows the church be having the, uh, some of the best catfish fried and fried and everything. But this is the fish meal right here. I'm just gonna throw some fish meal in here. Some good old fish meal. You don't have any uh, fish meal, nothing else. Just use regular corn meal. It's gonna be perfect. Regular corn meal be perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, my grease is ready. As you can see, I got uh, grease right here. I'm old school. This is my bacon fat right here from when I cook bacon and stuff. This is my bacon fat. I save my bacon fat for my uh, vegetables and stuff. But besides that, we back to the old school catfish right here. You just batter that fish right there. Get inside the nooks and crannies of this catfish. All right, you shake off that blossom. I mean that uh that meal. You just throw that fish in there like that. Oh yeah. Fish. I'm only gonna cook like two pieces of fish at a time. Yeah. Uh, see, okay, I'm about to uh, flip, uh, flip the fish over. And when you cook them, make sure your temp don't be too hot because you will burn that uh, that meal right there. And you don't want to burn that meal. Well, you can't burn the meal, but it just ain't gonna look all delicious. Alrighty, alrighty, my catfish is done, baby. I'm talking about. Give me a thumbs up to uh, see if that catfish look good or not. And I'm just going to repeat the process. Repeat the process with the good old fish. People be asking like, do you burn yourself when you be cooking? No, because my hand, I never touch the grease. See, I've been cooking for a long time. Uh, also being a chef, so I uh, know exactly where to place my hand at when I'm cooking. All right, then about to flip my second uh, batch of Catfish. I'm gonna let that cook. 
and I'm gonna come back and fix everything up. Well, come back and take it out. We are gonna do it that way right there. All right, my second batch of catfish is done. I'm about to let that drain some and come back and set it up to show you my finished product, my finished meal. And there you go, Mississippi catfish sandwich right there. What, what makes it the catfish sandwich is that bread with it. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, 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 that right there looks so good. Got the nice tartar sauce, hot sauce, and Kroger ketchup. Mmm. All the delicious sides you need. But hey, I'm sorry. Y'all gotta go. Because I'm about to smash this Mississippi catfish sandwich. I'm about to smash. So, see you next time. Oops, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell, and leave me a comment. And see you next time on Food for the Soul, baby. Booyah!